Hi guys, it's Courtney and Austell who's over here. And today we have an unboxing. Please ignore my terrible hair. I've been out in the heat all day. But we have an anticlimactic bag to open. So this is also an announcement video because the search for the red fox is over. I finally got it in the mail. If I can open it. Eh. 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 Yay. Hostel is sitting next to me anticipating. What is that, Mom? What are you opening, huh? What is it? Oh, Hostel. I will tell you right now. Ooh, there's a note from Petco. Thank you for shopping at Petco, shoppingpetco.com. Hope your pet enjoys the goodies. The order was packed by hand and packed with love. How cute. I think I'll keep that for a while. That's cute. Anyway, so this, aw, <laughs> it's got a fail squeaker in it. Aw, that's okay. This is the fox I've been searching for forever. Now let's see if I can undo this. There we go. And you wouldn't believe how hard it is to find one of these because it's freaking hard. I searched and I searched for so long to find one of these foxes. And now, let's see if Austell's happy I got it for her. Also, please ignore the really messy car. What is it? Oh, it's your own fox. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, she likes it. You can't see. Look at her. It's your own. I got you your own fox. Oh my. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I got it, fox. Is that your fox? Yeah, that's your fox. Ooh. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's a success! <laughs> I love making Austin happy. She was a bad girl today, but even bad dogs deserve gifts, so. I'm gonna do a quick review on this toy while we're sitting here sweating to death. <laughs> okay, so overall, it's not got the hard stuff in it, which I really like because it's not making that crinkly noise. That's a plus. I was so scared that I had bought the one that's got the crinkly noisy in it and I would have been super upset about that. My only critique is that the tail squeaker seems to have died in transit, which is kind of annoying, but I think she'll eventually just pull it out anyway, so I'm not going to really worry about it. She doesn't like things. She prefers things that don't squeak anyway. So, I don't really mind. I'm not going to send it back. Um, overall, it looks like it's in good shape. There's a couple of spots where stitches are sticking out. Um, but other than that, she seems to like it. It's a cute little fox. I went for the little one because that's the one that my instructor has. And she's obsessed with it. Like, anytime she pulls it out, Austell has to have it. Like... She's right on it, so I went for the little one. Um, the head looks like it's good. The squeaker in the head is in a good place where it doesn't seem like it's going to come loose that anytime soon, though I feel like it could get into the body. Um, unless it's sealed. They might have sealed it. I think they did, because I can't... Oh, no, you can push it into the body. Okay, so there's no seal holding the head one in there, so I'll have to watch out for that. Um, as far as, like, durability, I don't, Austell doesn't like to destroy toys. She knows that they're hers and that she doesn't like to pull out their guts like some dogs do. So it'll probably stay for a while. I have a hunch that this is going to become one of her favorite toys. Because, like I said, she's obsessed with the other one. Um, again, I didn't go for the long big dog one. Because I felt like it would be too much for her. Um, I like to buy these little toys. This is a good size for a dog her size, I think. And she's not going to, like, chew it and swallow it or anything. 
Um, the tag's in a good place. I'll probably end up ripping that off. The eyes are good. They're not bulgy eyes. They're flat. The nose is good. It's not like gonna come off when she chews on it. The ears are solid, they seem. Um, well, not really. I think she, if she really wanted to, she could pull that off. So they're not that sturdy, but the legs are good. They're kind of better off than the ears are. And the tail's really good. Like it seems like it's one, it's connected to the body. It's not separate like the ears are and the legs. So I figured the tail will stay on for a while. And I'm glad there's no stuffing in it because once a dog opens it up, they tend to eat the stuffing. And I don't like thinking that she's got stuffing in her stomach all the time. So that's a good point. All in all, I think I'd give this toy from Petco a five out of five. Um, I know that she's excited about it. And I know that I'm excited to have one finally because I've been searching for one for so long. So thank you, Petco. And I hope to do another review of your stuff. Have a good day.